Hey everybody, it's Jeff with ID10T Garage back out here and we're going to do a little uh, kind of show and tell, I guess you would say, um, about a new creation I've, I've done. I, I went ahead and created a new thing for the uh, mounting your wings to your tailgates for OEM style setups. So we're just going to go over the 3D printed um, template and backing plate that I've made and uh, let you know how it works and kind of show you where the holes are and how it it's going to help uh, with some of the configurations so make it a little easier for some of us not necessarily you know a big deal for everything but I'm just starting to notice that these these deck lids there's, there's not a lot of symmetry to them there's a lot of bit weirdness from edge to edge so I just wanted to get something where it centers it in the hole properly and, and gives a little bit easier methodology of doing it which is up to par with some of the other ways except for their paper templates so uh, let's get to it I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it a life worth living is a life with me and I'll do what I love till my heart stops beating I'm feeding this demon Got a taste, can't erase bitterness in my face. Work a job every day till your dreams fade away. Like a god, never change. Play the game now we say. Hey, we're back out here, guys. And I'm working on that deck lid some more. So I ordered a new wing for their for the actual deck lid because I just didn't want to deal with you know all the stuff and possibly ruining the old one. Plus the old one isn't OEM. So one of the big things I was reading with MPD and all that stuff is the OEM wing had a 36 inch uh, uh, where the pedestals go. So it's 36 inches between the bolts. And so they had built one off of a NOS one. So I ordered that one so we could get that fitment right. And that should be center to center and everything like that. Well, they come with paper templates and stuff like that. And I was like, you know, you can do something better. So what I did was 3D design some templates which will double as a kind of a backing plate and they still probably need a little bit more work so they kind of you know can slide under so i need to make them a little bit taller but this centers the holes where you can mark them and i even made a cap for them so once you're done you can cap them off and kind of close off this hole a little bit and I have a feeling the bolts will be too long, which is why I got these holes in the cap as well. That way your bolt holes can bolts can slide through here and then you can put that rubber grommet on the top of them. So either way, I figured it'd be a nice little thing to do. Um, but, you know, I'm over here marking my holes and about to drill out the holes to get everything centered. About to probably put the wing together. That way I can validate that this is going to work as I expect. And these holes are located properly so I can actually uh, make sure these templates will work the way we want them to. So, and I've got, I'm trying to make them where the, I've noticed the, uh, on the, let me pull this out actually. I'll go show you guys. The problem I was running into is I was looking at the aftermarket deck lid and it seems like that hole in the aftermarket deck lid is different. So, and different, when I say different, it's just a little thinner. So I can't really get this in here. So I'm gonna try to thin it out a little bit too to make it where this will work on the aftermarket deck lids as well. So it's not very easy to get in there. Actually, yeah, it's pretty close, but the hole's deeper, so it's sliding all up in here. So I need to, that's back to making it taller. So you know how it is. Aftermarket things are weird. So just wanted to show you guys that before I drill some holes. Later. All right, so I drilled my new holes with the little red lines, and it's about five and a quarter inches from this this lip. Now that's not dealing with the curve. That's just a flat line five and a quarter on this bottom one um, and I'm not sure that's the exact measurements because all my measurements are different it seems that from this edge down which I see it kind of curves out on this side and it's flat on this side so it's kind of a unusual so there's it's you know about a quarter inch off from side to side but from this curve back it looks good 
Uh, I had to wallow that one out a little bit more on the left side. Um, beat one because I was limited how much I could do over here. But it was about a quarter inch from this edge over difference when I drilled my holes. And that was just with the smaller holes. So that's just a, a little bit of, you know, where I drilled with my marker versus. So it's, it was very minute. So when I center it now with this hole a little bit bigger, it's where it needs to be. Um, and everything looks good. So those are my holes. It's actually five, 35 and seven eighths, eighth inch on center. Um, so about 36 inches from outside edge to outside edge. But I got my new holes. I need to fill in these old holes. I haven't decided what I'm going to do. My backer plate might actually work. I might just glue that thing in. Um, glue the backer plate in and just cover this with some 81115. Uh, which is adhesive and then just kind of cover it uh, instead of just welding that shut just so we don't have any issues there and bubbling so it can then just get a little bit of bondo over it to smooth it out it's kind of a cheating methodology of doing that so but you know for the most part makes a difference as you can see all the other holes are so getting out of whack this hole was, a, I guess, previously these big holes are from the, the one that were on it. So this one's close to center in that hole below. This one isn't even remotely close. These these are way off. This one's not even, you know, you, you barely can get the nut on because it's so far up. So these weren't centered at all from the edges. And these are, yet again, same way. So actually, let me flip. flip this back over and you can really see so my new holes are centered here and here the old holes on this side you can see it's way over here close to the edge and the little holes were way up so whereas on this side you're more on center your little holes are really close to the edge here and those really big big holes are wallowed out holes are kind of centered but not really so my holes are centered here and here and everything else so just kind of wanted to show you guys what we're working with and you know the difference between what was put in place and what what it should be or at least closer to be so and that's what it was showing in the mpd instructions they just put a piece of paper in here and center everything so my plastic pieces are basically working as a little bit more structure and then getting a, a more accurate place instead of just trying to get a piece of paper in here and centered and stuff so yep that's it guys later hey thanks everybody for tuning in i know it's a short episode i was out of town uh this last week so i just wanted to put something together to really get um some content up here and kind of show you what i've been up to I just haven't had a lot of time to do some work. So, as you can see, my deck lid's behind me. And we got our holes drilled for it. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, I just need to do some work on it before I actually mount the actual new wing on it. But I'm going to go ahead in the description. Uh, I'll put a link to the 3D design for these um, backing plates slash templates for drilling your holes. As well as the MPD uh, wing that is supposed to be built off of a NOS one. So it should be the closest thing we can get to OEM. So, uh, or at least you actually can buy new that's closest to OEM. So thanks again for tuning in. Like, subscribe, comment. Let me hear from you. And, uh, you know, we'll see you next week. I'm going to get back to work on this thing. I'm probably going to start doing some more primering soon. Still hoping to get my buddy over here to help me with uh, these uh, quarters um with the lead fill area so things are just not lined up with that but we got a lot of work to do i still got metal work to do so we'll get to it peace out i've been dreaming not in my head like i've seen it a life worth living is a life with me and I'll do what I love till my heart stops beating I'm feeding this demon Got a taste and a waste, bit of
this in my face Work a job every day Till your dreams fade away Like a card never change Play the